hear about an exciting pro pilot project developed by the Eugene Water and Electric Board in cooperation with the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network and the University of Oregon. The partners in the integrated West Coast prototype for Shake Alert include the U.S. Geological Survey and four West Coast universities, the University of Washington, the University of Oregon, <coughs> the University of California at Berkeley, and Caltech. Our U.S. staff, as well as those of all four universities and the USGS, have worked long hours and hard to achieve today's milestones. Our progress would not be possible without strong support of Governor Kate Brown, Congressman Peter DeFazio, the rest of the Oregon delegation, including Senators Wyden and Merkley, and State Representative Nancy Nathanson. Their steadfast support and advocacy for Shake Alert and the University of Oregon has greatly accelerated the expansion of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network in Oregon. For example, it was just two years ago that Governor Brown approved the appropriation of $670,000 to purchase National Science Foundation-owned seismometers that were slated to move to the state of Alaska. Since that time, our PNSN staff at the University of Oregon have leveraged that initial state investment to secure other federal and state funds that are further expanding the seismic network in Oregon so that we can contribute to the safety of all Oregonians. The backbone of the Shake Alert system is a network of seismic sensors that detect dangerous earthquakes as they begin. Every earthquake sends out two general sets of waves. The first arriving wave, or the primary wave, is the P wave, which travels quickly and is less dangerous and oftentimes not felt. The second set of waves are the S waves, which travel more slowly but do generate strong shaking and damage. The principle of the shake alert system is simple. Use the first arriving P wave to detect, locate, and estimate the size of an earthquake as it begins. And then rely on that, and then relay that information within a matter of seconds to people and to things. Importantly, the shake alert system not only provides a warning that an earthquake has occurred, but it also informs the user of the expected intensity of the shaking and the time it is meant to arrive at a particular site. By knowing both the intensity of shaking and the time of shaking, actionable responses are possible by people and also by automated activities. The Shake Alert system is well suited for the impending magnitude nine <coughs> earthquake on the Pacific Northwest Coast. This is because the most powerful earthquakes 